Right, here we are again, Pucker One. We're out on a new bit of ground today. Part of a farm. That's one of the farms we do. There's all the crew there. It's Pete, Emma, Terry, <coughs> Emma's partner. So we can do this side. And across this motorway here is another 90 acres. So we'll give this one a go and I'll see you at the first hole. Well, I've got a target down here. That other one was iron. Right there, it's reading 1737. 1637. So I'll give it a dig up and I'll put you on in a minute. Alright, dug that clod up, it's in the clod somewhere. Be our first target out of our new field. <coughs> oh, let's put you up a bit. I haven't made a video in a while, so you've got to remember all these bits. I'm putting the camera up. Okay, what's this? Hmm. Doesn't look coin shaped to me. Looks plasticky or something. Right. I ain't got a clue what that is. I think I've come across these before. I don't know what they are. Right, what's the next? Oh, I've got another one down here. That's a 1316. Oh, I'll give that a dig up. I'll let you see it in a minute. Alright, here we are. It's in here somewhere. Oh, it's in that ball. Coin shaped. And it's a button. Yeah. Yeah, first target is an old button. I can't see any markings on it. Right, oh, and backs just fell off. Never mind. Right, see you in a minute. I've right, got another target down here. It's not far from that little button. That's 1332. So it could be another button. We'll give it a dig up and I'll let you see what it is. Right, it's in here somewhere. So look. There. It's inside. Might well, just give that a little dig out. There it is. Oh, that's a bullet. A bit of a bullet. All right. That's quite an old one. All right. See it next one. All right. Got one down here. I think it's really, really deep. It's quite a high pitched tone. Somewhere around there. Right, I'll give this a dig up and let's see what it is in a minute. Oh, I found that straight away, that one. That's right at the bottom of the clod there, right in that bit. And check that bit as well. Right, 
bit iffy this target let's see something in there looks like a bullet or some sort of this ground is bleeding out I don't know that yeah it's a head of a bullet that's what that is that's what is iffy never mind I'll see you in a minute I'll give you a little walk round, see if we can find any. <clears throat> uh, haven't been on for a while because I've been making some uh, motorbike videos. I bought myself a XT660 Yamaha trial bike. So, uh, been making a few videos on that, which hopefully I might put one up after this video but I've got just, they're, they're a bit more awkward than doing metal detecting videos because you've got to blot a lot of it out so hopefully it'll be all right I've always been into motorbikes I restored one about two years ago a KH triple 250 uh, put that back on the road and somebody else owns that now so that's, that's good been sitting in a barn for 22 years so it's good to see it get back on the road and somebody get some good use out of it um, yeah I'm having a lot of fun on my motorbike so far uh, it's pretty good so we'll see how they go hopefully they go alright it's uh, a lot harder than doing metal detecting videos, I know that. <laughs> right, I'll see you in a minute at next target. I've got another signal down here. It's not all that clever. I'll give it a dig up and uh, I'll let you see what it is. Right, I've come across it. It's down there and it could be our first coin. Just try and get this out. It's quite deep in there. Let's break it out. That's, that's like a coin. Yeah, that is. That's a good eight, it's ten inches. Right, who's this going to be then? Let's turn that off. Let's just give this a bit of a clean up for you. It's smaller than half a penny. I don't know, I don't think we're going to get any off of that. It's about there. Yeah, so it could be a Ed Edwardian, Georgian. Uh, I don't know. Because I can't get nothing off it. Could be George the Third. Ah, let's see. Let's have a little look. Right, it's a bunhead, Victoria. I can see her head there. So that's got to be half a penny. Look, you can see her outline. Sure, that's who that is. Oops, I don't know if you picked that up. There's our outline there. It might clean up better. I don't know, it's hard to tell. 
Okay, at least it's a coin. All right, see you at the next one. Oh, I've got another signal, very similar to that last one. And it's only a couple of feet away from the other one, about four foot. So I'll give that a dig up. And we'll let you see what that is in a minute. Right, come across it. It's there, look. This is quite deep, this one. And it could be another little coin. No, it's going to be a button. Never mind. At least we've got it out. That was hard to locate that one. Yeah, little pewter button. Alright, weren't too bad. I'll see you in a minute. Alright, just met up with Pete. Pete's dug up a cartwheel penny. I think they're 1879 or something like that. All the same date, aren't they, mate? Yeah. And that's uh, 1806, George III penny, isn't it? Yeah. Nice one. You can just see the oh, that bait down the bottom there. Tez, have you found anything? Right, I'll see you in a minute. I'm musket born, what? Hold on, I think it's gone off. It's a musket where you should have right. put it back. Right. This is Tez's musket ball. See, we'd have cut it off there. And that's a bullet and a half, isn't it? 50 calibre, that, son. Big one. Nice. Alright, see you in a minute. Alright, got another one down here. Right there. Alright, I'll dig that out and let you see what it is. Right, I can see it's in the hole there. Looks like a bullet. Yep. Pete gets a cartwheel penny and a George III and I get a bullet. Nice one. Alright, see you in a minute. Alright, got a great signal here. 12.44. Alright, dig that out and let's see what it is. Alright, that's what it is. Nice little buckle. Nice D buckle. That's a good sign. Caught it there with a the shovel. Never mind, I'll see you in a minute. Alright, just got a signal and Tezza is going to dig it up for me. <laughs> and it's Tezza. <laughs> on my day, it's, it's, it's on full time, so I'll get a good good reading and um, good sound, but not really. Could be a nice deep coin. After Pete finding one of them cartwheel pennies, there could be an ink on here. And we just realised there's a bloody great ass ball in here. Hopefully it won't come up this way. Look, we'll see. Yeah, if the camera goes all bouncy, you know I'm legging it. <laughs> we might try across the other side. It's no Blair Witch. Yeah, throw it over here and I'll scan it. No, it's in there. It is hard, and it gone dry, mate. Don't know why, with all that bleeding rain we've just had. Just quite a lot of these targets quite deep, don't they? Yeah. I think the shallowest is about 10 inches. It used to be an old golf course, this. Yeah, I wonder why it looks the landscape is a bit odd. Yeah. Is it still in there? Yeah, it's there. Yeah, that one. No, no, in the middle. Oh, right. Yeah, down there somewhere. Oh, no, no, luck, it's a 14 inch bullet. Really? Let's go pinpointing in there. 
And it's right there. Mine's saying. Yeah, told ya. That's a deep old target then. Yeah. I can even get a reading on my batters. It's a nice sound. Hopefully it's a coin. Okay. Don't know, I'm just picking up your spade. It's caught it. Look at that. <coughs> Shot the gun cartridge that deep. Christ. That is deep. What the hell? Look at that. <laughs> yeah, that's deep. Christ. For one of them anyway. Shovel, right, okay. I'll see you in a minute. I've got one here, I can dig up. This is Terry's first target that he walked over. So I'm gonna dig it up, and it's a bit of silver he's gonna be gutted, isn't he? Oh, it's a good time. signal. Yeah, I know, it was, but I'll put you on when I get it out. Right, all that turned out to be is a bullet. That's good he didn't dig it. Right, see you in a minute. Right, just put you back on. Emma and her groups just dug this up. Little lamad. Looks like a half penny. Can't see the date on it though. And it's got a petu peculiar face on it. I don't know whether it's going to come out on there. But yeah, good luck to her. It's her first one. Well done. So we're all going to have a scout round there now, see if we find any more. I'll see you in a minute. I've got a nice signal here. That's a 10.04. Yeah. I'll give it a dig up, see what it is, show you in a minute. That's in this clod somewhere. Yes. Tear somewhere. There it is. It's a live 2 2 bullet. That's not very good. Right, see you in a minute. Right, got a nice signal here. <clears throat> 1128. 1229. Right, I'll give that a dig up and see what it is. Right, there it is. I thought it was a good signal. A bit of copper pipe. Don't know what it's from. Not much. I might see in a minute. Right, digging up a signal next to this big old tree here in this field. Down there. Right, a bit deeper, I'll put it on in a sec. Right, just found a piece of it. That looks like a bullet to me, so the rest of it can stay in there. Right, see you in a minute. Right, just dug another one up here. It looks like a musket ball. Yeah. It's <clears throat> a nice one. Heavy little one. Yeah, nice. Little pistol wall that. Good one. Right, I'll see you in a minute. Right, just dug another one up under the other tree. It's in here somewhere. It's 
that going to be another musk man? Yeah, another pistol ball there. Fines are getting a bit older here. That's good. Alright, see you in a minute. Oh, just dug one up. Looks like a little hairpin or something. It's only cheap. Little stones in it. Alright, I'll see you in a minute. Alright, just come across Pete. Pete's got a musket ball. He's wearing a silver pencil. Which is lovely. Isn't it? It's yeah, missing a little bit, I think. He's found, uh, what's that, Edward the Seventh? Yeah, 19, I think it's 1900. 1900, he's oh, found a military button. Right, we'll try that again. Pete's found a nice silver pencil. Cartwheel Penny, so he's doing well. Edward the Seventh. And George the Third, wasn't it? Yeah. That was an early one, that one, wasn't it? Military button, musket ball. And that, he thinks, might be bronze, a bit of a chisel. Shaped like one. Yeah. It's made of bronze, isn't it, Pete? Yeah, I think it is an artefact of some sort. Nice. Well done. Right, see you in a minute. I've got a good signal here. That's a 12.37. Right there. Right, I'll dig it out. Let's see what it is. Right, just dug it out. There it is there. See if there's any more there. It looks like some sort of badge. Yeah, there's a crown on top there. That's nice. I haven't had one of them before. Yeah, it's got writing all the way around it. There you go. Some sort of ba uh, badge went on there. Can't read what it says at the minute. I think there's something that went across there, I'm not sure. Yeah, I can't read what that says, a bit too dirty. Nice one though. Good. Alright, see you in a minute. Right, this signal is right next to it. 1307. I'll just flick that away. <laughs> Lost it. Where is that then? Right, I'll put it on in a minute, hold on. Alright, this got me going. Look at that. Thought it was a gold buster that. <laughs> it's a busted bit of foil. What is that doing here? Right, see you in a minute. Right, just dug this one up. Uh, come up 1224, 1222. It's in there. I don't know what that is. Oh, it's a little Meccano wheel thing. I don't know what that is here. Yeah. It's off a Meccano set. Strange thing to find here. Huh. The mud, see you in a minute. Right, you're not going to believe this. Look what I've just dug up in that hole. Yeah, you know, I was joking about a gold coin. 
<coughs> Look at this, this is making me shake. Where's it gone? Yeah, Pete's coming over. Just dug up a gold coin. Sovereign. Boy. Is it a gold coin? Yep. Yeah, half sovereign or guinea, is it? No guinea, so that was half sovereign. You fucking jam standard bastard. That is brilliant. That is my first and only gold coin. Isn't it, Pete? Yeah, beauty. What's the date on that? 1853. Good on you, boy. Aye. I wasn't, I, you know, I wasn't going to dig it. I thought, oh, it's a bloody bullet. Put it on the floor. <coughs> yeah, I'd have dug that all right. No problem at all. <sighs> in good condition, too. That is it's in good, good nick. One, yeah. Is it good, it? Huh? Good, it? Gold coin. Really? Yeah. Oh, fuck. <coughs> oh wow. And it was only that, that deep. Look, five inches. I was just doing the around the edge of this mound here. So, your missus is enamoured. That's beautiful. Good condition, That's my first one. Beautiful. Ever. Thank you very much. I'll see if I can find another one. That is my first gold coin, people. And you saw it with me. So I'm going to check round here just in case there's a couple. <laughs> right, I'll put you on in a minute. See you in a minute. Right, I've got another good signal in here. <sighs> Just concentrating on this little area where I found that last gold coin. Oh, it's another coin. What's that then? Yeah, that's a good, uh, good difference there. Right, that is a half P. And the other one was a gold half sovereign. Look at that, I ain't found a half P in ages. Maybe it went with a sovereign. Well, it did used to be a gold course and they used to use these as um, ball markers. So maybe that sovereign was used as a ball marker. Or well, some rich guy. You never know. Right, I'll give that sovereign a clean up and I'll show you in a minute. Right, I'll give that a clean up. There you go. 1853. I'm still shaking over that. I, I can't believe I've actually found one. It's taken me years to find out. I found everything else gold, but not a gold coin. That is my first ever gold coin. I'm so chuffed. It's unbelievable. And it's in excellent condition. Blimey. I see people find them before. And I think to myself, yes, you know, how can it be so good coming out of the ground? And there you go, there it is. On a live dig. Ah, brilliant. Right, I'm going to have a smoke. Have a relax and enjoy that. Right, pack a one. See you later. Right, dug up another one. There's the pen half penny. <laughs> A mark next to it could be another half penny. That's another little coin. Yeah, that is another half penny. Look at that. Right next to the other one. So these are definitely used for ball markers on this course, along with that sovereign I would have gathered. Yeah, another little half penny. Great. Yeah, hopefully you might find another sovereign. <laughs> right, see you in a minute. Right, just dug up something interesting. That looks like a bit of a little bomb or more little flare thing or something. <coughs> Strange.
yeah very peculiar it's been in the ground a long time right see you in a minute right not far away from that there's another one and this one's bigger that's definitely a mortar or something there or some sort of incendiary flare yeah maybe this that little bit was part of this yeah okay i'll see you in a minute all right put you back on that's enough for me i'm worn out now so we'll say bye bye to the cows and the great big bull he's a big bastard him i'll tell you there's pete coming up terry's down there somewhere we're going to be back here do this again see if we can find any more gold coins or hammers right today and uh cartwheel pennies all sorts have come out of this bit of ground so yeah we'll be back here so this is pucker one it's had a great day find this first ever gold coin and i'll see, see you later see you at the next hole thanks for watching bye bye